on a good morning, good morning from sunny, hot Mexico. Uh, I'm getting bitten by these mosquitoes, but I just had the most amazing coaching session with one of my uh, coaching clients. And um, I just wanted to really jump on quickly and talk about something that is so prominent in our community. And I say, I say our community, I'm talking about black women. Um, that I think it's okay for us to acknowledge now, okay? And that is the idea that we have to leave some people behind sometimes. In our pursuit of our dreams, in following our heart, listening to that little calling that emanates from our heart, and doing the things that we're guided to do in life. And sometimes we don't know why, but sometimes we can't take the people around us with us. And that's not because we're better than them. And that's not because they're not worthy or we've outgrown them or anything like that, or they're bad people. But sometimes it just means that your path goes this way and theirs doesn't. And it's not even about thinking about if their path goes that way or that way. It's just about, I need to put my eyes down and focus on my next step and my next step and my next step. And in order to focus wholeheartedly on our next steps, we can't divide our attention to people around us who are on their own paths or who need to be focusing on themselves. We're so good as we know about, you know, we're so good as we know at bearing the burden, right? Bearing the brunt, helping out folks, or just being there, being the one that, fill in the blank. Um, but I really think it's, it's time that we allow ourselves to focus on ourselves. It's okay to hold the hands of people that you love and just say that I love you so much. I recognize the beauty of your soul. I thank you for your place in my life. But right now I have to let you go and do your thing so that I could go and do my thing. I'm still here, I'm still accessible, but just not in the same way and let go of those hands. And that's scary sometimes because we're taught as black women that we have to sacrifice. So how dare you put yourself first? I think it's time we started saying, how dare we not? How dare we have these wonderful lives and not focus here sometimes and not pour into our own cup sometimes and not nurture ourselves sometimes. Um, and it can be frightening, it can be so frightening. And I, in my own journey, it's been hard at times to kind of move on. Um, with my daughter, for example, um, being a mother of a now four-year-old, when we left the UK, she had attach attachments and ties and was used to seeing people regularly and I had so much guilt about well I know that there's this dream to follow but how can I remove these attachments that she has or change or alter these attachments that she has and in the end it got it got down to because I know that there's better to come I know that actually taking these steps to follow what's here in my heart will always lead to good, right? Will always. And actually what happened is, ironically, some of those attachments and relationships that she had with people in the UK, some of them she's in more contact with now than she was in the UK. She may have seen them once a week or once a month back then. And now she kind of talks to them much more frequently by a phone from Mexico. So you know, it all kind of works itself out in the end, um, ironically. But 
sometimes from where we are in the moment, we can't quite see what's to come or how things would unfold. And so we kind of go into this catastrophizing. Ah, it's going to be like this. It's going to go so wrong. Um, but sometimes we just got to actually trust that it will all come good. It will all come good. You know the saying, you didn't get brought this far just to come this far. And so I'm not here to give you permission to do anything. Your lives are your lives. But sometimes it's necessary to let go of what you've got, to change what you've got, to release what you've got in order to move on and progress to the next stage. And it's all okay. You might not feel it, it might not look it, but it's all okay. Um, yes, so that's just what I wanted to, to kind of say. And I, I hope that this message kind of resonates with, with you. Um, like I say, this, uh, I was so inspired by this coaching client today. She's just a phenomenal woman. Um, but also, the other thing I want to, to kind of say is that if you are at a point where you're trying to let go and release things from your life and you're finding it difficult, you don't need to do it alone. Um, support is out there. Um, I work with people through therapy and through coaching, um, supporting them to, sorry, I'm getting bitten up by mosquitoes out here, um, supporting them to sort of move forward um, and let go of what was is to move forward to create the goals the dreams that people want for themselves okay so you can find out more information from my website which is www.solanitherapy.com that's x-o-l-a-n-i therapy.com one word um and have a look at how i might be of service to you um okay all right we're gonna leave it there because i've got to get inside because these mosquitoes are just Yamming me up. I'm, get, I'm literally getting eaten alive here. Mexico, right? Okay. Have a beautiful day. Um, do what you need to do today to heal and love on yourself today. Peace. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye.